Larry the Legend here with Mobile Coins. I am going to be doing uh, $52 worth of nickels. I'm going to be opening up uh, these bank wrap rolls. And they also have, there was also three rolls of customer wrap. Uh, there's $52 all together. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, I am going to do all these video, uh, all of these live. And I will actually uh, go back through the, with the editing and I will speed up the video that way it's not that long. Um, and I'll slow it down when I uh, find anything worth uh, mentioning. All right, so give me one second and we'll get back into it. Okay, here we go. Roll number one. Looking at the edges, there's a dirty one. Oh, 1973. And we have Dark Edge. And it's junk. So I haven't decided on how I am going to set up these videos yet. Um,
Uh, if I just go through them like this, or if I pull out all the new ones, and then go back through later. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'll do. I'll just go back through later. I'll pull out all the new ones. Or not. <laughs> Arguing with myself over how to do this. Hi, baby girl. Can I open some? Can I open the rolls? Can I sit on your chair? Or can I just get Hold on, let me let me finish this roll. Okay, we're going to change things up. My daughter would like to open up some rolls. So I'm going to go ahead and get up. And off camera, I will be going through the coins while Miss Shannon opens up the rolls and does the live commentary. Because the camera's in front of you, listen, when the camera's in front of you, when you open it up like this, you have to peel this edge off, put your finger, then this edge off, and put your fingers, and take the paper off like that, so it stays still, okay? Okay. That way, the camera can see what you're doing. You have to talk loud so the camera can hear you. So, 2017 TV. All right. I. You see any dark edges? Nope. All right. Then let's uh go through them. I tell you what. You take all the new ones out and you look for buffaloes. Oh, there's and, one. There's one. And this one is dirty. Look, I found one, this one. Okay. I'll look at this one. I want you to take all the new ones and I want you to look for the 2009s, okay? Okay. That was 64. You have to turn all of them over like this so you can see the new face, okay? See like this one and this one? So we are looking for 2009s because uh, 2009 uh, that was the the height of the recession. Uh, they did not make a lot of coins in that particular year, so everything has a low mintage. This is why we're looking for the 2009s. Yep. Um, Do I open the next roll? And see right here, I just got a 1958. 
that. Can I open this roll? And it is a D. We'll put this off to okay. the side. Can I open this roll? Yes, keep going. Okay. Help. So we're so I hope will be any silvers. Okay, and uh, we are also looking for um, any nickels that is 1961 or older. Normally, I just look look for um, anything uh, 59 or older. But Wait. because I do sell um, a lot of uh, Whitman books. And the Whitman books stop at um, 1961. I just went ahead and um, added the the other two years into what I look, what I look for. There's a buffalo on the back. Okay, show the camera. Look at this. The camera's over here. Look at that. All right, this uh, buffalo that she is referring to, it is uh, the 2009. Or I'm sorry, the 2005 Buffalo. It was a, 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 a special design just for that year. Um, Dad, look on the back. Okay, what about my cover off? We need to flip them all over so they're all on heads. Then you can pull out all the coins you're supposed to be and looking through. There's a ball on the back. I will pick out all the ones I am looking for. I'm. I'm all with. Right. I'm. I'm on coin roll hunting with my dad. Okay. Okay, so uh, in addition to looking for the, any nickel that's uh, older than 1961, we are also looking for the war nickels. No, war nickels were made in 1942 to 1945. Uh, the United States needed the copper and the nickel for the war effort in World War II. So that particular year, they made um, the nickels with 35% uh, silver, and the rest was um, uh, manganese. Um, also in 1943, uh, U.S. government needed the copper for the primers on the bullets, so they took the copper from the pennies and they replaced it with steel for that Dad, one there's year. Mary, um, there's my brother. Now I just uh, no, I just pulled man. out a 1951. Uh, let's see, this is a a 1951 plain date. <laughs> All right. And let's keep on looking. Okay. All right. Get the next roll. Okay. And I will catch up. Now, Shannon, do you know what design the nickel was before they did the Jefferson? Mm -hmm. What was it? Harrison. No. Ma Madison. No, not. Um, I'm talking about the the picture of the coin before this guy, uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Who was on the nickel before him? You know? Yes. Who was it? Madison. No. Jefferson. No. Oh my God, Look, Dad. <clears throat> what? Oh, heck! What the heck? Look at the back. I, it's so messy. It's got gum on it. And green crayon. Ah. 
Shannon, the old buffalo nickels. Okay. What was on the front of the old buffalo nickels? Indian heads? Yes. Why is your chips still there? Like that, right? Yeah. So we're looking for those? Yeah. Oh my god. And before the Indian head? Two buffaloes. Be before the buffaloes, what did we have? Um, Indian heads? Look, I got three no. buffalo coins. Oh, those are the new ones? Yeah, and there are three buffaloes. Total buffalo total. Total buffalo. And there's a boat. Still a boat. Gimme. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, we have Nickelodeon. Just pulled out this nineteen fifty eight Denver. No. No. Are you looking to make sure that none of them are 2009? Um, I'm just looking at... You're just looking at the buffaloes? Um, I'm just looking at those. Okay, are any of them 2009? Mm, no. Now the first year of the Jefferson Nichols was uh, 1938. Wait. Uh, before the Jeffersons, they had an Indian head on one end and a buffalo on uh, the reverse side. Look, there's a little green spot right there. All right, and uh, so the the Buffalo Nichols, as they're commonly called, uh, ran from. Uh, 1913 to 1938. Uh, they were not a very popular design. Uh, the general public, uh, you know, didn't really care for them. But because uh, Congress uh, uh, added in the stipulation that they had to run for. Uh, the amount of 25 years. That's why you only have the Indian head nickels for just those 25 years. Now, before uh, before the Buffalo nickels, you had uh, what they called the uh, Liberty nickels. It's a picture of Lady Liberty on the front side, and on the back side, they had the um, Roman numeral five. It's a, a, a B. So they're more commonly called B nickels. Uh, when when people are talking about the the old nickels, they refer to them as shield nickels, uh, which ran before the V nickels. Um, and I don't know the start date uh, off the top of my head uh, for the. Uh, the V nickels, well, like I said, before the V nickels, um, they did make uh, shield nickels. All right, so Miss Shannon, can we uh, continue? Yes. We need 
open all the rolls. So, uh, Shannon, while we are here, do you want to make a shout out to any famous YouTubers that might be watching? Yes. Who would you like to shout out to? Everyone! Who's your favorite YouTuber? Okay, I'd like to make a shout out to Rhino CCF. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Uh, it's great to have other family channels out there. Yay! Yay! No, two thousand nine. Who's your favorite YouTuber, Shannon? Uh, Rhino CCF. Rhino CCF. Yep. Oh. Can, do I open this roll next? Yes, ma'am. I'm a woman. I and I see something weird right here. Oh my God! It's a 2005 D. Yeah, that's an old, dirty one, huh? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's. A, ooh, that's dirty. Yep. All right, that's uh, what you would call like an Oreo, because it's almost black. Here, let me pull it out of the box. Yeah, so it's got a black color. Flip it over, the other side, same way. Oh, no. Smash them all. Okay. Yeah, look. Oh my god, what is that? It looks like boogers. No. It's gum. Chewy gum. Gummy. How do you know it's chewy? It's gum. Computer. Larry, you want to do a shout out to your uh, favorite YouTuber? Hmm, let's open this one. Daddy, the odd one's out. The odd one's out. Anybody else? Uh, Corey Kenshin, BJ Mike, uh, um, Rhino CCF. No? Um, who else? Uh, Biju. I already said that. Um, uh, Dan TDM. Uh, yeah. Um, who, what was that? Popular MMOs? What's oh, their names? Pop. Um, Pat and Jen. Popular MMOs. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, I just got. Oh my god. If what we the hit. Heck? 96. 81. 99, 88, 2000, uh, 78, and 91. I was trying to run away. 64. That was ugly. 2014. Okay. Where was it? this one? This one looks old. But it's just 64. Okay, yeah. A 10. 
16, 11, 13, 16, 16, 13, 14, 7, 16, 16, 16, 6, 15, 14, 16, 15, 13, 15, 15, 7, 16, 16, 16, and the 16. Alright, this is it. Nineteen seventy. Ah, sure. Oh, that's a good thing I picked this one up and looked at it again. This is a nineteen seventy S. Does not have full steps, but it is a seventy S. I don't know if that is supposed to the the seventy S is a proof or not. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to look that one up because, as far as I know, um. There was only a Philadelphia and Denver made for uh, Nichols in 1970. Uh, and I do know that somewhere in the 70s that San Francisco uh, became the only mint to off uh, to make uh, proofs. So I could have like a proof in bad condition. <laughs> Or not bad, but worn condition. And I, I think that's what it might actually be. Is a worn proof. All right. So let me uh, pause the video, and I'll get everything uh, arranged for the um, wrap up. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, Larry Legend here with a uh, wrap up of what we have today. We got a war nickel, 1943 P. We've got the 1947 plane, uh, Philadelphia, a 1949 Denver, a 1951 uh, Philadelphia, a 1954 Denver. Two 1957 Denvers. One, two, three, four, five. 1958 Denvers. We have two 1959 Denvers. And this one is really, really nice. Really nice condition. We have a 1960 D and a 19. 61D. And then we did get the 2009D. We have this uh, 1970S. And we have this really nice 1996 Philadelphia. Alright, so that concludes the video for today. Uh, I am going to go ahead and go back and edit this video so it's not an hour and 13 minutes long. Um, be sure to uh, uh, like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for our next videos up in this corner.
Thanks for watching.